Welcome into the video. I'm your tech guy, Wayne, and today I wanna to show you how to set up the Samsung Galaxy Tab A9. We're at the welcome screen, so this would be you taking it out of the box. Let's walk you through how to get to the main screen and what are the most important settings you'll want to enable. So first, we have to accept the terms and conditions. You're obligated to check the boxes for the first two. Anything that says optional, you can skip, which I usually like to do. We're gonna agree. Now, there is an option for you to transfer data from an older device. So if you have an older Samsung tablet or you have an iPad that you would like to transfer data from, you can do it from this screen. And it's, it's pretty simple. You just select what device you have, whether it's an Android or an iPad, and you follow the on-screen prompts and it'll walk you through exactly what you need to do to transfer your data from your old tablet to the new one. I won't be doing any transferring today, so I'm just gonna select set up manually to move forward. Next, I will need to select a Wi-Fi network um, that I will connect the tablet to. Now, after you put in the password for the Wi-Fi, you're gonna hit next. Okay, so on the next screen here, um, you have a cool option where you can mirror all of the uh, Google accounts that are on your phone right to your tablet. So by hitting next, you can, you can basically link your phone to the tablet and it will pull all your Google account information to help speed up the process. If you don't wanna do that, no problem. You can just simply hit don't copy and then it will ask you to sign into your Gmail account. You'll just simply put in the Gmail and the password on screen. In the box where it says email or phone, just tap in the box and just type in your Gmail account and then you hit go and then you'll put in the password. Okay, next you're gonna hit I agree to the terms of basically using your Google account on the tablet. We're gonna hit more. Now these are some Google services that you can enable to run on the tablet. I tend to turn off the send usage and diagnostic one and just hit accept. Next, you can set up a pin or a password to protect your tablet. They also have a facial recognition option, which is when you lift the tablet up to your face, it can unlock as long as it identifies that you are the one using the tablet. I'm going to set a pattern as my password and just make it a simple L. Hit confirm and then do it again, confirm. And now the tablet is protected with that pattern and you can always change that in the settings later. Now you can set your tablet up so that you can just say, hey Google, and it'll automatically start listening for your commands. I don't tend to like this feature because when this is enabled, the tablet is always listening. So um, if you wanna set it up, hit I agree, and then it'll ask you to say, hey Google, four times as it learns your voice um, type. I'm gonna hit skip because I'm gonna not enable that at this time. Next, you can access the Google Assistant without unlocking your device. Again, I'm gonna to choose to skip that for now, but all these things can be set up later in the settings. Now, here's the next part. This is the Samsung account. I encourage you to set this up because having a Samsung account allows you to access all the features that Samsung has to offer with the tablet. If you choose not to set this up, you will be limited in some of the features you can use with it. The easiest way to do this is just linking it with your Google account right here. The other option is to simply use an email address or a phone number. Now, if you would not like to set up a Samsung account at this time, that is your choice. You would simply hit forgot password or don't have an account, and then it'll let you set it up later. I'm gonna sign into one now because again, some of the best features are tied to having a Google account. The account is free, there's never been a charge for it, and it just really allows you to store all your data with Google and access their extra services. So I'm gonna sign in now by hitting email and phone number and putting in my information. All right, next we'll need to accept the terms and conditions for the Google account. And the top two are the main ones that you need to accept. And the ones down here are optional and anything optional I just tend not to uh, check the box for. All right, we are signed in. This is Samsung's uh, permission service for some custom features. I'm gonna hit agree on that. Now the last thing is you can select what your display is gonna look like. Um, I tend to like dark mode because it uses a little bit less battery and it has it gives the tablet kind of a nice and cool look. So 
I'm going to choose dark. You choose the preference that uh, aligns better with you. Let's hit next. And we're all set. So we've now walked through the kind of unboxing all the way to the main screen. And you are good to go. Now, this is just one of many videos that I have made on the Samsung Galaxy Tab A9. I have a lot more, so you'll find a link in the description with uh, my playlist that has all my Samsung A9 videos, so definitely check that out. I'll also link it on screen right here, and I'll link another really helpful video right here too. If you got value out of this video, please make sure you bump that like button down below as well, and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care, and as always, have a good one.